Omega Recycling Technologies would like to show you a piece of equipment that is simple to use, will make your paint shop work more efficiently, will lower your operating costs, and protect the environment. This combo unit consists of two parts, a fully automatic paint gun washing station and a solvent recycler. The combination of these elements makes for a one-stop solvent shop. Let's take a look at the major components. First, the gun washer. It consists of a manual working station and an automatic washing chamber. The control panel consists of various controls for the gun washer and solvent supply. The solvent tank is where the gun cleaning solvent and pure solvent are stored and from where they are delivered throughout the system. The distillation chamber is where the old paint and dirty solvent is placed for distillation into pure, clean solvent. The distillation chamber control panel consists of various controls, gauges and lights for the operation of the distiller. Now let's better understand the detailed operation of both units. The heart of the gun cleaning system is the solvent tank. The tank consists of two compartments. The smaller of the two is the pure solvent compartment. The larger is the working solvent compartment, used with the automatic washing chamber. Both the automatic washing chamber and the manual washing sink drain into the working solvent compartment. There is a sight glass on the side of the solvent tank that shows the level of solvent in each compartment. If fresh solvent is needed, it is always poured into the small tank and allowed to overflow into the working tank. Whenever the gun washer hood is open, the unit automatically sucks solvent vapors through the exhaust stack and away from the operator. Using the automatic washing chamber is a simple process. First, the paint gun is disassembled and the trigger lock attached. The lock is used to allow the clean solvent to pass through and wash the interior components of the gun. The gun is placed in the outlet nozzle of the automatic washing chamber. The rest of the parts are also placed in the washing chamber. Once the gun is placed in the washing chamber, the pump timer is activated and gun wash solvent is drawn from the solvent tank to clean the gun. The flow frequency for the washing of guns can be easily adjusted by turning the adjustment screw located at the front of the wash pump. The ideal setting should be 30 to 40 cycles per minute. After the wash cycle is completed, a final cleaning can be achieved by simply pushing the final wash button five times. This will bring clean, pure solvent through and around the paint gun, resulting in a clean and ready-to-use spray gun. The manual station can be used at any time. Available to the operator are two controls for this purpose. The first control is the atomizer for gun cleaning, and the second is the control for bulk solvent. When activating the atomizer valve, pure solvent is atomized for gun cleaning. When activating the bulk solvent valve, pure solvent is provided. The gun washer also has an air hose for testing guns. Open the air supply valve and adjust the air pressure as necessary. Testing is done inside the unit. Now let's learn how to convert the waste into fresh, pure solvent by using the distiller. First, take the liner bag and cut a small V so that it can be easily placed in the distillation chamber. It is important that the service area of the distiller is kept clean to allow for proper heat flow. The bag is then placed into the distillation chamber. The V is positioned to go over the tubes. Also make sure that the bag is properly fitted to the entire surface area of the chamber. This will assure proper heat flow for distillation. Then insert the retaining ring. Double check to make sure that the bag covers the entire surface area. We are now ready to place our waste into the bag for distillation. Waste paint is poured into the distiller.
it is important to avoid spilling paint into the vapor tube or between the bag and the tank because this can cause the unit to malfunction. Always close the lid to prevent evaporation into the environment. The distiller has a safety design that prevents pumping of solvent from the gun washer without the distillation lid being open. This feature allows the operator to see how much solvent is being filled into the chamber. Do not fill the chamber past the retaining ring. On the three gallon unit, the operator activates the pump by pressing the switch located on the door lid. On the six gallon unit, the operator activates the pump by pressing the switch adjacent to the door hinge. Dirty solvent is pumped from the gun washer to the distiller. Remember, never fill the distiller above the retaining ring. Close and lock the lid securely. We're now ready to distill our waste into pure, fresh solvent. You will notice that the green light is on. This means that the machine is plugged in. Set the distillation temperature to 180 degrees Celsius. Turn the timer to five hours. The orange light will come on, indicating that the heating elements are working. The other indicator lamp on the control panel is the red alarm lamp. If this lamp is on, it means there is a malfunction and the unit will not operate until it is corrected. Please refer to the laminated troubleshooting guide to determine the problem. During the distillation process, pure thinner evaporates through the collection tube and is returned to the pure solvent compartment in the solvent tank. Any excess pure thinner will overflow into the working solvent compartment. After the distillation process is complete and the unit has cooled down, the solid waste cake is removed for eventual disposal and a new bag is installed to begin the process again. In conclusion, the combination of the gun washer and distiller is an excellent and versatile tool that is simple to operate and truly a one-stop solvent shop. It will improve production and make your job easier.